Regarding asking the Prophet ﷺ to make dua for you, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah mentioned in more than one place in his book Iqtida al-Sirat al-Mustaqim that this is the same thing as asking the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam to make shafa'a for you and that this is great shirk and that this is the shirk of the Arabs you see and there are some statements for Shaykh al-Islam which are misunderstood by some students of knowledge and by some scholars also so when a Sunni scholar misunderstands Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah we don't declare him mushrik. We don't declare him an innovator. You see? Because this could happen to any scholar that he makes a mistake in his understanding and all this. You see? We say this is a mistake. This is an ugly mistake. Avoid it. But don't abandon the, <laughs> the Sunni scholar for his mistake because this is a big ditch, a big exaggeration, a big falsehood that some people are doing nowadays in the name of Salafiyya. Whenever they see a scholar make a mistake, and sometimes it's not a mistake, but they classify it as a mistake. Then they call to abandoning him. Or whenever a student of knowledge or da'i makes a mistake, they say, okay, cross him out. <laughs> this, is, this cannot be in the, done in the name of Salafiyya. This is not Salafiyya, you see. This is not Salafiyya. Abdullah ibn Abbas one, was one of the greatest knowledgeable companions. He used to okay the marriage of Mut'a until towards near uh, near the end of his life. They, there are narrations that he backed up and there are narrations that he did not back up. So a man like Ibn Abbas, you want to abandon him for his mistake? No. Just avoid his mistake. Avoid his mistake. And this is the way of the Salaf. They said, اتقوا زيغة الحكيم ولا يصدنكم ذلك عن علمه Avoid the mistake of the knowledgeable scholar and do not make that mistake a means to abandon his knowledge. You see, because you are the loser. Because... Every scholar makes mistakes. And if you want to abandon every scholar, then you are the biggest loser. Just like the takfiris nowadays, who abandon all the scholars. Oh, this scholar said it's okay to uh, seek help from the Americans to kick Saddam out. So cross this scholar. And that scholar, cross him. And this scholar, cross him. This is an ugly way that is done in the name of Salafiyyah. This is not Salafiyyah. As Sheikh ibn Uthaymin rahimahullah said, they uh, declare astray everyone who differs with them, and they do that in the name of Salafiyyah, while Salafiyyah is innocent from them. You see? So this is... Uh, now.